everyone. Welcome back to the Tabletop Core. I'm CJ. Josh. We're here for another Combat Patrol. Today I'm playing Orcs, Death Skulls. What are you playing? Uh, I'm playing Drukari again. Oh, Just yeah. get some more practice. So. Heck yeah. New army to you, so we yeah. might as well get as many games in as we can, right? Yep. Cool. Um, what mission are we playing today? Incisive Attack. That's... So, out of the big rule book, um, it's the one with a 9-inch bubble around the center. Sure. Deployment zone here, deployment zone here. Sure. Deploying in table quarters. Mm -hmm. uh, how many objectives we got? Four. One in uh, one in each object. Uh, one in each quarter, basically. Okay. So. okay. 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 And uh, so that's the mission. Mm -hmm. What uh, secondaries did you pick? Secondaries. I picked uh, grind them down. Mm -hmm. Heard the prey out of the book, out of the Jukari book, and then I also did take them alive, which is also out of the Jukari book. So that's not fair. Trying a little bit of different. <laughs> trying some different stuff. I don't know. You have all the good objectives. Well. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's relative. So I took Raise the Banners um, behind enemy lines mm -hmm. and grind them down because maybe that happens, maybe it doesn't. Nice. You're trying to keep me out of table quarters, so I didn't think uh, I'd have enough units to yeah. engage. Um, so, you know, we kind of did it backwards uh, for explaining the mission, but we'll roll into our army list now. Yours looks really easy. Yeah, I tried a little bit different stuff. Um, I'm still... With, I still have two Raiders in the list. I still have the True Born. I still have the Incubi. And I still have Dark One. But as far as the Cabal goes, I'm playing a Custom Cabal today. So, which is Merciless Razor Kin and Torturous Efficiency. Yeah. The Archon is set up the same way it was last time. So, he's a Master Archon. He has the Gym Blade for the Relic and he has Hatred Eternal. So, you're rolling his own hits and wounds. Um, I still have Unity True Born, but this time it's all bare bones splinter rifles other than the Cyber Right. He has a blast pistol. Nice. Um, going into, I still have the five unit man of Incubi. I have one raider, which is where the Trueborn will hang out. Mm -hmm. They have it has a splinter axe and the dark 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 lance. Don't know why I can't speak right now. Um, <laughs> the splinter axe basically make you able to um, always count as not having moved for rapid so, fire. For rapid fire. Gotcha. So they they get to rapid fire all the time, and then the other one will have grizzly trophies. Which is minus two to leadership. It's got chain snares, which is plus three attacks. Gross. And a uh, phantasm grenade launcher, I believe I put it on there. So you're going to run into me. Yep. And then um, he has um, the Dark Lance as well. And that is where the Archon and True Born, or sorry, Incubi will hang out. So, so. how many units do you have? Two, two transports, a troop, Incubi, and an Archon? Yep. Yikes. All right. So what do you got going? today I'm playing Orcs for the first time. Bar and Derek's army. Yep. Um, so we're going to play a little Death Skull action today for those rerolls and shooting, fighting, all that good stuff. Um, so to start the army, I have a war boss. You got to have a war boss. Yep. He's uh, the warlord, brutal but cunning, so he has extra wound. Uh, or, sorry, he's the biggest boss, so he's got extra wound for a pinball, I do believe. Um, I took the kill claw, so it's the really good power claw, or power fist. And then brutal but cunning. Um, so after deployment, I can redeploy um, himself and up to D3 other units. So we still have to roll through that, see if that's what I want to do, mm -hmm. which I might do a little bit of that. Um, see, for troops, I took just 10 boys. That's it. One one set of Choppa boys, Choppa Sluggas. Oh, man. Um, for fast attack, I've got one Def Copta, uh, one unit of Storm Boys. The mm -hmm. knob there does have a Power Claw also. So watch out for your raiders. I'm I know it. Chop you up. I know it. <laughs> I'm pretty worried about it, actually. Uh, for heavy support, I brought uh, one five-man unit of Ludas because they have some range, mm -hmm. and I took one Death Dread that has two big shooters and two buzz saws, so no claws on that guy. Um, so I think that's it for me. I did. Uh, oh, I forgot. I took a five-man unit of commandos. They're in. Uh, not deep strike, but hiding. Basically, deep strike. Yeah, kind of the same thing. So that'll be a pretty interesting match, I think, because we were talking last time. I, I think the answer to Jakari really is horde, and so that'll be pretty interesting. Yeah. This isn't super hordy I because it's a hordes. combat patrol, but I don't, you got way more guys than I do. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, seven different units. Yeah, so I just. I have so many units, I think your resources will be kind of strange. That was the idea. Yeah. Um, so we'll see how that goes. We'll be back for uh, first turn. 
and uh, probably going to be Josh, hopefully. See you there. went to me the death skulls um so my command phase i gained a cp um up to three we did some movement here and we'll start let's just start here um so boys advance through here just trying to get over here on this objective i'm still a little outside of it but we're set up for next turn storm boys are also with them um just to have two units in this quarter um back here on my home objective the looter lutas raise the banner because I can't shoot through this obscuring terrain. The war boss stayed with them. We shifted this way. My death dread came over along with my helicopter. They both shot at this raider. Um, didn't uh, do any damage. Actually, my helicopter flew here. And then we got risky and made a charge. We did that uh, just to make Josh have to make the decision if he's going to spin CP to overwatch or he's going to have to spin CP to fall back and shoot or do anything like that. Um, and that was kind of it. I did score two points for um, behind enemy lines for having my death copter back here in Josh's quarter. So I have two points. Josh, anything you want to mention before we roll into your turn? Um, no, I don't think so. I think it was a super good move on your part. I really like death skulls. Yes. I mean, the advance and charge and the... You know, I mean, it's just... They're just so good. Everything's OPSEC in your army, so... All the rerolls. Yeah, I really yeah, and I really like Death Skulls. They're really good, so I can't wait to see what happens to them in the, with their new book. So sweet, sweet. Let's be back for Josh's turn one. See you then. Okay, guys, here we are back at the end of my turn one. The Incubi and Archon um, disembarked from their raider, and they're just sitting right here. The raider they were in came over here, did some shooting on. Mr. Dreadnought there he was oh. able to shave off five wounds. Um, this raider flew over here. It is the Trueborn, right? So we get to ignore ballistic modifiers. Now, this was the one that it was in combat with that helicopter. Um, so I spent one CP to Cruel Deception, which means they can shoot after they fall back. Uh, we put all of our we put our Dark Lance here and completely whiffed. We put our Phantasm Grenade Launcher over here into his Jump Pack boys. Was able to get rid of a couple of them, and then all the split, uh, three of the splinter rifles went here, killed one more jump pack guy, and then the other six splinter rifles went here into the boys and got rid of one, I think. So sure, it was decent. Oh, and then the archon was able to blow up the uh, death copter, death copter with his blaster, blast pistol. So all in all, went pretty well. CJ's gonna hit me back pretty hard, I think, this turn. I do have a morale to roll for these guys. Oh, They're yeah. leadership seven. I lost three, so I would be on a f safe on a four, or I could spend two CP. Let's roll it. We'll roll it live. Oh no, we're good. Seven minus yeah, three is good. four. Yep. All right. Woo. Uh, that's it, guys. We'll be back at the end of. Oh, I did get Grandon down. Yeah, three points to two three points. points. Yeah. So. so. Cool. We'll see you then. All right, back for Orcs turn two. I gained one CP in the command phase up to four. I gained five primary points because I held one objective back here and one banner point. Um, so movement, let's see, Death Dread, we'll just start over here. Death Dread moved up, he shot here, or sh actually shot at the Incubi, killed one of those. Uh, eventually charged in here, did six damage. Uh, I didn't get any damage back on me. I brought in the Commandos, they failed their charge and failed to do any damage over here. Um, the reason I brought them in so soon was uh, Josh dumped all his real fighty guys over in his deployment zone, so um, my behind enemy lines probably ain't going to happen very much this game. So moving over to our Ludas, what did they do? They shot a raider? Yeah. Uh, did they even, they did a couple wounds or not. Yep, did a couple wounds. Um, Storm boys came over here, raised the banner, they're being chickens. Uh, my war boss and my boys were able to charge the raider that was over here um, just for the advancing and charge. And here we go. They both got in. Um, the war boss killed the raider. Uh, it did explode. It killed two boys. One boy uh, put three wounds on my war boss, killed two. 
uh, what are they called? Cabalites? Cabalite warriors, yeah. Killed two Cabalites. Uh, Josh then uh, mm-hmm. disembarked, and I uh, moved up a little bit when I activated my boys, just for a little screening here. Not that I think he'll come over here, but he might. Um, so the end of the turn, I only ended with uh, eight points. Josh has three, um, and I don't really have anything else to add, so sounds good to you, right? Yep. All right, we're back for Josh's turn. Two. All right, end of my turn two. This is not going very well for me, honestly. But, um, so my Trueborn came over there in the, or sorry, Incubi advanced over here to try and get a charge off. And then Archon stayed there. Incubi, the Cabalites moved over here. Got to shooting phase. Cabalites were able to wipe out those that unit of boys. Oh, they did. Um, but my Incubi filled the charge. Couldn't get to the war boss, which I really needed to happen. Um, so the Cabalites turned in. I took three wounds off of him, and he killed you know, six of my guys. Um, and then his... Death Dread destroyed my other boat over there. It's gone. So uh, th- we're looking really bad here. This game's probably done, to be honest with you. But we'll see what happens here. Um, I got five points for the primary at the beginning, and I got two points for Herd the Prey since he's not over here. But um, that's it for now. All right. All right, so turn three for the Orcs. Uh, I gain a CP. I just keep going up without spinning. I think I'm at four or five. Um, I did gain 15 primary points. Um, at the beginning of the turn, I held three objectives, um, two banner points. Starting over here, the Death Dread just shifted off of uh, that objective. He's threatening to cross the line to start getting behind enemy lines. The commandos advanced. Um, they are within three to hold that objective. They can't raise the banner quite yet. Um, Ludas were able to pick up one Incubi uh, through some long range shooting. So we're down to three Incubi over here. Um, Storm Boys stayed put, and then the War Boss was attacked by the Cabalites, and then he was able to pick them up in return. Um, I didn't see any reason to move him three inches across this turn, either make Josh come this way or however that goes. We're going to run through the end of Josh's um, turn, and then probably come back for a summary after that, because points are 28 to 10 in favor of the orcs so we'll be back all right so we're back for the end of the game uh the orcs were able to pick it up total of 78 to 40 um i max primary got pretty good on my secondaries um we just scored it out as if the archon stayed here the death dread crossed the line just to score the two points the rest of the game i raised the banner with the commandos we just finished it out that yeah, way. Yeah, at the end of, what, turn three was yeah, when we ended it. Yeah. We, were, we were done at the end of three um, because the Incubi did come into the war boss, killed him. Easy. Wiped him out. I spent two CP to fight again and then picked up yeah. the Incubi in return. So um, I did score grind him down on that turn. But you got the three points for your secondary for mm-hmm. killing a character in melee. Yep. For, uh, what is it called again? I can't remember. Uh, take them not, alive. Yes, take them alive. Yeah. You took him dead. He died. Dead. dead or he dead, took dead him, and he's going to be a grotesque. Yeah. Maybe that's what's going on. <laughs> Anyways, um, the first time we saw Drukari come out, you handled the Space Wolves with your two vehicles because you blasted me. Yeah. Um, we kind of speculated if hordes were better against, you know, in a, in a combat patrol at least against the two, the two boats that you have. Um, and I brought typically what would be a horde army, right? Yeah. But multiple small units instead with only 10 boys, you know, and then a bunch of small five-man units. Um, and that seemed to work out well. But it was still like, so, I mean, because everything started in a boat here. I don't know how I would rework this list to go against something like this, you know, just... I don't know if there's a trueborn way to, yeah, to build it. I don't really know how I would do it, to be honest. Um, but he had way more units than I did. Basically, I basically just had two units, right? Because they were right. both started in boats. And so then I had to... Yeah, I that was a weird one. For I me. definitely had the board control. Um, I yeah. had a ton of deep strikers, cheap move, cheap stuff to move around the board. Yeah. Um, so I could see maybe witches, maybe when you get some reavers, those would be kind of cool because they're yeah. so fast. Yeah, reavers. That's why I really need, really, really, really need to get reavers, but I can't get them anywhere. I can't get them on the website. DW. You know, if someone's so. got new in box reavers or built, would you take built? I would take some built ones. Hit us up. Yeah, we don't want painted ones. Yeah. But. 
Yeah. Um, would be nice to get some because I have a really nasty witch and reaver list <laughs> built and I really wanted to run it. All right. Well, I just want to say thanks everybody for tuning yeah. in. We finally hit 350 subscribers on the YouTube. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and you. And over 300 on Instagram. So we're growing slow, but we like what we do and we hope you do too. Yeah. We appreciate again, all the commenting and everything. We, um, other than that, we'll see you guys, I think in the next one. We'll figure out what we're going to play. Yeah. See ya.